smoko check, something a little different, barbecue pork, apple sauce if needed, pecan pie, English breakfast tea in the polka dot cup, bloody marvellous. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi pie. I hope you've had a bloody marvellous day. I certainly have. So I went to the Tkofi Village Bakery and Cafe and checked out their pies and found one I hadn't tried before, which was the barbecue pork. And I also had a bit of pecan pie as well. So two new pies for me today. Bloody marvellous. No sleep in this morning, up to the hospital for an infusion. I was a little bit late. I tried to get some petrol at the Waitomo, but it wouldn't. It declined my card, so I had to go around the corner to the Z station and get my fuel there. So that delayed me a little bit, but I was late already up to the hospital. And yeah, infusion went reasonably well. I was late getting to bed last night, so I slept right through the whole thing and uh, pretty much just woke up at the end. Bloody marvellous. So from there, I got in the car and headed out to Tkofi, to the bakery there. As I went there last time to get the butter chicken pie, I noticed they had other ones there, so I went through the selection. Quite by chance, I noticed they had a bit of pecan pie there, and I thought I'll take that for my little sweet uh, dessert. And then I chose the pork, barbecue pork uh, pie uh, for my sort of main. It wasn't until I got home and realized that I had two pies and not one, well, a piece of pie. One. There was another one there, the pork and watercress. And my lovely wife tells me that this is a very popular pie. So I'm thinking perhaps, hmm, I might have to have a crack at that one sometime soon as well. So, yes, the pork pie got home and did my smoko thing. And it's a very nice pie. Very nice. Very nice filling. Uh, the base was good, but I thought the topping was a bit overdone, a bit, uh, a bit too crisp and a bit too dry. I had thought I might need apple sauce with the pie, but no, the filling was well, uh, well sorted on its own. It had a lovely gravy and some sizable chunks of pork. So I quite enjoyed that. Uh, then I, I came home and I needed a little bit of a, a rest uh, to uh, there. So I got in and checked out some of my social media and what have you and then decided to mow a little bit of lawn out the back. I chose the electric lawn mower today because one, I think we were low on petrol on the other one, and I needed a few stops, so it's very easy to stop and start that one. It's good. Did a good job. I was pleased with it. Come inside, and uh, yeah, I needed a good uh, recovery from that, and uh, then it was up and started uh, editing and compiling my social media, and well, here we are. Bloody marvellous. And so the little bit of lawn by the shed was mowed with the electric mower. 1,206 steps. Uh, I didn't have the phone in my pocket for the mowing. New pies. I did about an hour of admin, just checking on emails and getting a few things done. And 82.3 for the weight. Could we see 81 sometime next week? As at the end of 2022, what was the tallest building in the world? Answer in the comments below the video. Meaning extremely outdated, antediluvian, literally 
refers to the time before which of these biblical events, the Great Flood. All commentators were aware of this and answered the Great Flood, but it was Moz 42, the biker from far north Queensland, who was the first in with the correct answer and takes the place on the Hall of Fame just before, just below spell 316. Bloody marvellous. Fuel legit. This has been a Mario presentation recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.